Jonathan, uh, I linked, the, they created a doc, so I linked uh, that doc. Uh, so whoever is interested can go there. And there is a message to everybody. They have some problems with this PKS, so please go help if you can. Uh, obviously, you need to know the technical stuff behind it. So it's all in the document. It's all in the document. Now, Jonathan for the bot, uh, uh, Ivan for the bot. So, Philippe wants to know if, uh, how are you going to put it together? What kind of glue we're using and when it's ready? As long as he receives the glue. He ordered the glue. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, so, and uh, also uh, bar fittings from uh, Monster Card. Okay. They come together. And. Uh, I will assemble the bath, two pieces together. Then James and I will apply the thermocouple and the electrodes. James ordered the electrodes today. So what about the uh, thermocouple? Do you buy one or you use his? They, they have one. So I they have a spare one, right? Because it, that one went to the glue inside. You can't pull it out, yeah? I will yeah? have the way that you will be Oh, OK. So that was another thing that you you suggested. Uh, do you need to put silicon on the metal because you have uh, electrodes? Okay, so you make sure you're not okay. Yeah, Okay, so you put silicon for that, yeah? Yeah, so I will like basically put like silicon on top of it, so it like melts around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of electrodes do they use? Do they still go with the uh, carbon or they have metal ones? Uh, today, uh, yesterday, I spent like a day the electrodes and then I put the electrodes. We found one, I, I spoke to the guy from the Warner Instruments export and uh, we chose the proper electrodes. Today, James placed another for the four pieces. Still, uh, electrodes for simulation. And these ones, they fit into the holes that you... Uh, yeah. And what about the electronics to uh, drive them? For the electrodes? Mm -hmm. uh, well, they have pins, so you will be able to connect to the alligators. To the so that's supplied by Phil, yeah? Uh, the, yeah. The, the electronic box. Well, I think they have simulator. But, uh, okay, the uh, simulator, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but they, they probably do. Okay. There is no requirement for us to find it or... Okay, you just make sure that works with these electrodes that you found. Yeah, this is the electrodes for simulation from Warner Instruments. There's no way we can uh, make it take Okay, I have another question. What about the grease to put the, um, and the cover slips? You know, uh, this one used to use high vacuum grease, super clear gre grease that you used to apply. Does he have that or? Maybe not. We can always get some from Wilson, but let's, let's put it here. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're going to put it. Because Grease to glue the cover glass. Cover slip, yeah? yeah. Does he have cover slips? Good uh, cover slips, too. So these are cover slips from VW. These details are exciting, man. I'm yeah, well. you know, we think it's just a piece of uh, a mosquito, but there's so many details that. Um, yeah, these are all yeah. little, like small supplies that you they kill you, huh? Well, somebody might have it. Uh, it's a biological lab around, you know. So yeah, somebody might have uh, it. Four weeks delay now, uh, waiting for a part. Mm -hmm. How often will we need this part? Is it simple? Some of you look for a and for contactors and laminate. No, it's a continuable. Uh, Well, the, the, the 
JavaScript is kind of standard. Maybe you should run a um, one day we'll have an inventory of these things. No? Yeah, yeah. We should have some there. Mm -hmm. So all the piping for water circulation that's uh, ordered, yes? Uh, yes. For cooling. Already ordered. Uh, anything about, you know, uh, I was at field one day, and you mentioned that you want to order the chemicals to also do chemical simulation. Uh, chemicals do not do it. Do not do it. They use the thyroid solution. Okay. And uh, I spoke to Jonathan, uh, the guy from the uh, They have everything. Oh, yeah. Chemicals. Uh, okay. So they can do chemical or electrical simulation. Yeah, we will need calcium. Uh, for that, I will talk to Jonathan. Solutions? Uh, put calcium, actually. Calcium, either the salt, like uh, right, or something, for the uh, chemical equation. Because uh, I think in the thyroid solution, we don't have the. But I, I, I understood that Dilson wants to try Dilson's solution. Dilson's uh, uh, composition. Cool, good. Yeah. Well, Dilson uses uh, chemical type of motivation, but it's not our case. For some reason, he, he was interested in that recipe. And I say, oh, this is fine. You know, like another knowledge transfer. I know how transfer, you know. Those are solutions are for chemical activation. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need that for now. No? Yeah. I know we don't need, but I kind of sense that Philippe, like. Like in future, I asked Fabio, he forwarded me all the recipes. Okay. Also, so we have that. Oh, okay. Do you want to send them to Phil or? Yeah, we can. Uh, are these just standard from uh, articles, or will you uh, change something? Uh, for, uh, for articles, not clear. Uh, from articles, not clear. If you can include some 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 uh, comments, you know. But anyway, that, that that's what I that's what I got from him, and that uh, he mentioned once the these chemicals. So. Uh, I don't know if you want you to go there and prepare the solution once and see how it works or whatever. I don't know. Just to mention that, okay, to get ready for the. Um... So I'm going to talk about the joint down transducer uh, optimization. Okay. Also, it's permitted, no? The shaka. So joint type transducer optimization, I am uh, almost kind of finished the uh, gap, exploration of gap size, mm -hmm. okay? I published some graphs, um, and you know, it shows what it shows. Uh, I even did some uh, fitting of the curve. It's a simple exponential, you know, so it's a very simple, I think it's a geometrical thing. We can also uh, do some, uh, Simulation of optics, you know, just to see if it fits the data. Um, so there's no surprise there, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just a, a big mirror and the distance between the fiber and the mirror. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> so the I was able to obtain this new data because uh, we increased the acquisition speed of the mosquito by using a different uh, way of acquiring signal from the lab jack. Okay? So I did this yesterday, right. so we have 50 times more speed so 50 so you don't need to decrease the speed so we don't need to this so yeah so in order to in, uh, normally you should use a stepper motor or a piezo okay to increase the distance of the gap uh, so what I'm doing I'm using a DC motor with constant speed and the speed is pretty constant and I calculated the speed so now I know according to the time I know exactly what's the distance mm -hmm. right because I know the speed and so uh, because I increase the acquisition rate, uh, you know, I don't have to slow down the speed because if you don't slow down the speed, the motor, it's not going to go in a uniform, uh, you know, it's going to have a hard time going against friction, right? Because mm -hmm. the only way it decreases the speed is that it decreases with the voltage. But decreasing the voltage, you decrease the torque, you know, so then you, you know, it doesn't run smoothly. So now we have enough points, so I saw more details there. 
There's still maybe I would like to play with it a little one one more hour to get different spots in the mirror. And there is something that I'm not uh, sure of. Uh, we can see some uh, fluctuations at the lower um, distances, a small distance of the gap, which the, it, the, it's not showed in the graph. Okay. You mean the, the Fabri Perot zone or not? Yes, yes, the Fabri Perot zone. Yes. This is uh, something you drive can do at the spot. Yeah, yeah. In this mode. Yeah, so you can make it very sensitive in poking mode, yeah. yeah. Uh, poking or just micro bending? Very small range of operation. Though. And you see here, we have, uh, I don't know if you can show You this. can share that. You can share that on your... Uh... Okay, Francois is going to share something on his... Uh... Screen share. Screen share, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here, uh, we obviously have this... No, uh... if you see yourself, you didn't share. So we obviously have this error here because the lever is not cut properly, but the optical guide is cut the same way. So we multiply also the, the errors here. So we have um, both sides. We have uh, yeah, error. yeah, yeah, for sure because they cut the same. Yeah. So for optical optimization, uh, that that goes into the other dimension. Okay, the, the, the other topic. So for optical optimization. Once you know the physical properties, the physics, because what I'm using here is a sort of an ideal model, okay? There's no gap, there's no joint, uh, there's no, it's just a mirror in front of a fiber. So now if we, uh, so pretty soon, within a few days, I'll move to basically factorize the joint type to understand itself. Okay, and in that case, uh, we need to make, we need to optimize the process of fabrication. The fabrication. So we need to cut the fiber straight. Uh, we might even go to buy a very uh, a cheaper fiber cleaver that cuts straight angles, uh, you know, two three hundred dollars. We can find it on eBay, right? Right. Okay. Uh, we can we can try that, um, and we could. Uh, uh, so that that's one major problem we have, is to cut the mirrors, uh, cut the fiber straight, ninety percent angle plus minus zero point one, which is this, which is kind of the standard, uh, you know, in uh, in these devices. Plus minus what? Plus minus zero point one. I think that's a a good precision that you can have. Okay. And then uh, another thing is optim optimizing the fiber coating. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here we have to uh, also talk about a new discovery that we made, uh, which is it appears that a perfect mirror uh, works against us. So we need a rough mirror in order to destroy the <laughs> to destroy this uh, coherence of the laser. Otherwise, you have these fluctuations of how you fluctuations. You have the interference. Okay, yeah, the... There goes other <laughs> And another thing I want to try is uh, is to have uh, optical fibers that have, have round tips. Because as you see in my graphs of gap variation and intensity, if you have a Con convex surface that variation is going to be much steeper instead of having a flat mirror you have a round mirror so the idea is to get an optical fiber to cleave it and then to hit it and to melt the tip just a little bit to get curved and then code that and now you have even more sensitive poking fiber mm -hmm. that works in the geometrical what I call the geometrical, uh, you know, regime, you see? But no, it's much more sensitive to uh, gap size, all right? So that's something worth trying. And now you have a poking sensor, which is very sensitive, you know, a pulling or poking sensor, you know? <clears throat> so that's one thing to do. we can try to. But do we start this before uh, playing with the constriction? Uh, I think they are hand in hand because in order to melt that fiber, you need the uh, you need a constriction device. Mm -hmm. 
So once we'll uh, start playing with the constriction, we'll uh, we'll do these two. Yeah, they they just you know they're naturally bound together. So Bob and I, when we're talking about affiliated projects in terms of processes, I think this is one. This is a good example. Mm -hmm. You know, one can go without the other. I mean, one one can go without the other. But I'm saying, if you you know you need you need the device first to do both. Yeah, and then while you're playing with the fiber and cooking it in this little thing, you know you can do both. You see, so that's one. Uh, these are two nice projects that actually go to go hand in hand together. So I think that's it for Philippe's project, and it is our highest priority. And we're keeping at it. I spoke about the Love You program. There is a doc there. Whoever is interested to see, you can click in the document to see Philips program, Mosquito program in Love You, and you see our Mosquito program in Love You here in the at CTS. Um, and I should add another thing here. Shan is bringing us a stepper motor driver that can do micro steps. Huh? Sean? Sean, yeah. And he has a push button activation with the display. Oh, so it doesn't even need a computer. To display what? Where you are. Ah, oh, so it's like a just stand alone on the table, you just crank um, it. I think so. Sean, is that true? Just send him the link. I invite him again. Okay, so moving on. Francois, you want to talk about uh, Maxim? And maybe Bob, this is something that uh, you would be interested in because this is another project that is just starting now. Is Bob still there? I'm still there. Yes. So this is another this is another project like Philippe's project that we're starting. So we have the engage grant. You remember when we got when we you know we announced that we got it uh, I think a week ago or two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the basically what this project will do will help us get different uh, types of uh, optical fiber sensors. So we're gonna get more you know, other types of technologies for optical fiber sensing. And we are really, uh, we have high expectations for this project. Really, yeah. Because this project will uh, simplify our manufacturing uh, a lot. But there, there's still a risk, it's r &D. we don't know what, what the precision can go. We'll see. So um, next Wednesday we meet. Technique. It goes well, this uh, will start the Mosquito computer. Right. It's a uh, big avatar process, it's like a big jump. Who's going to fill some more? Me. What are you doing there? Um, the, the usual. Programming? No. I want to get James uh, started with uh, characterization too. I have to glue these, uh, these uh, new transducers. Will they glue them? Yeah. I want to get, uh, get James started with the uh, characterization because I told him 
I can do in pattern this more not theoretical, but you know, the, this this analysis of, of the principles of the transducer, and he can actually go on and start his testing, you know? Right. Okay. So and, yeah. okay, so he already started the data sheet document where uh, he's gonna put he's gonna structure his work according to this document. So you know, what are the parameters he needs to test and then, you know, how he's going to test them and so on. And James, uh, why I want him to get this data? Because uh, first of all, he's going to be on the publication. And second, because he is uh, actually uh, good with uh, signal processing. So James has acquired uh, an expertise in uh, uh, filtering, noise filtering, signal processing. There's uh, people from the Institute uh, coming to him, students to process their signals. Why isn't James this meeting? Uh, I don't know. So, yeah, I asked him. Um, yeah, but it's nice for them to be here too. When they're important in the document, it's key to document this and contractor because uh, once we have five rounds with Maxim, we have to repeat the same testing, exactly the same at Fizz have to follow the same steps faster because we will be paid for that. We'll be paid for that specifically. Oh, sorry, that we'll be for that. Yeah. Maxim value. Can we use it as part of Maxim's parents? But I'll get the money for James' time. No, so the idea is to spend the minimal time at Fields Lab just to guide them and characterize the new transducers rapidly because we have the documentation, the setup, we know how to set up the folders and stuff, put the weights, and redo the energy experiments. But if it's well documented, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I have a question to technical base. Uh, one size bill is to summarize what we do with the formula. So, if you guys remember once I sent an email, like what, what, what was the final uh, result of that? Uh, uh, we, yeah, the final result is that uh, Phil and I had a discussion on this, and, and basically we said, for now we don't care. We just, uh, the transducer is a black box, and we just push on it and see how signal, how much signal we get. So, it's a one to one mapping. So That's because you told us that we were getting too crazy with the uh, science of. Uh, Stiffness. Oh, stiffness and uh... <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, I remember once I sent that email and uh, I like skipped the uh, emails and uh, the one that I randomly opened it, it was saying like uh, Jonathan was saying you are the barbarians yeah, yeah. and uh, Phil said Conan <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> where did this where did this conversation as the one is empirical that yeah, and I went through like the entire history of your response to, to understand how you got this <laughs> 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 Anyway, so it's just good, but uh, uh, can you forward me the final formula that we use with James and I we use for the students? Yeah, I linked uh, I linked on the wiki. M equals M A. I, I yeah, basically that's what we well uh, <laughs> yes. M equals K. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Equals M A equals Okay. 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 Which means A is acceleration. Put K, K, G, because G. we don't consider uh, gravity doesn't yeah. exist in this case. A and then G. F is also equal to KS. Yeah, that's the uh, spring. Uh, and then you, you combine the two together and you solve for. Okay. Everything that helps. Okay, so maybe you can send me the link to the document that we hope for. And you can respond. Okay. <laughs> I can send you that event. There are ways of pre-clearing your packages before they run. Because the conclusion, sorry to jump in here. Uh, the okay. uh, conclusion of customs clearance by yourself, mm -hmm. it's not worth it if you go through the normal channels. Okay. Because it takes several hours and five visits. First visit, the clear, then they have to inspect it, they have to go back again to pay, mm -hmm. and then you go back and pick it up or they ship it out. So our industrial fiber optic systems order has just done. I checked, I just tracked it. And it probably didn't make it for the tracker today, but it'll be here tomorrow. I just need to delete it anyway. 
And uh, so what we can do is do an electronic manifest ahead of time. And do all the forms of paperwork I did in person, we can do them online ahead of time. So we do that ahead of time, submit it, and maybe we can get it down to one visit or not zero. This is very fast. Today I went and I spent less than 10 minutes in the office. I go in and say, I'm done. You You're inspect it? Yeah. You inspect it? Yes. Okay, go to payments. The slowest guy is the cashier. That's it. Everything else is 30 seconds. 30 seconds of talking, 10 minutes of waiting, one minute of paying, and I'm done. That's it. I'm like, do you want to pick up the back? I'm like, no, let UPS do it. So UPS went to pick up the paperwork and did the rest. For shipping is no reason to drive there and So we can get down to a one 10 minute activity, ideally. So then it's worth clearing yourself. But how do you do that? Do we have to call the next person? Yeah, like from the beginning. When you, the due diligence is you make an order, then you do your paperwork. We order and we call UPS. We make an order and we immediately start paperwork. Is there so B2, B2. Okay, can you download this? Yeah. Here's the paperwork. Can you write just a Yeah, I write it. Yeah. This thing should be somewhere, you know? I can write a report on this whole event. Okay. Because I've logged several hours for this, so I might as well uh, mm -hmm. buy some value to exchange for these hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because then we have to go through so the, this thing again, or we're going to ask you over, over and over again. Yeah. So, uh, pre clearing is. So, we have to just click, just not just wait, and then, oh, a package has arrived. We have to do the steps ourselves first. We click pay, or what we can have is do the paperwork first. Yes. And when the guy ships it, you already gave him our number, and it's pre clear. So, the guy gets it at UPS, says, oh, it's pre clear. Send the inspector, inspector inspects, and we're done. We pay the money to the other. Because we can't pay until it's inspected. Okay. That's why it gives you two trips. Or you can wait. And you wait at least an hour. And what, what is the inspection? You go and open your box and look inside. To make but sure do they do that for every box? Every box you clear yourself. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I was told is they no matter what you're inspected first couple of times and everything is in order it makes sense. But the my experience with the shipping containers, if shipping containers one item, full container, we were gonna check the first two times and never again. But if okay. it's like fifty different items in one container, no, then I check every time. Mm -hmm. All the labels will be facing outwards in order as they go through their paperwork. So there's a there's a there's a science in shipping too, huh? Yeah. So when I when I typed up the, the forms, they got rejected because I tried to save steps. So I have to make one line per entry and invoice. So mm -hmm. that. And what's nice is the UPS invoice includes a tariff code for it. But I'll explain all that. It's very simple. Okay. And we save fifty bucks. Uh, we spent we we our final cost was four dollars. Plus about eight hours of my time. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, Thanks for the price of 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 the uh, at this time, we are free. Okay. Well, so I think that's uh, anything else. Uh, Francois, you want to say something about business? How to clear customs? You put that. Okay, this is nice. So, Jonathan, we show. Okay, user guide. Thanks. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, so, is that enough? Anything else? Anybody has anything to say, Bob? Uh, nope, just lurking still. Okay. So, anybody else has anything to say? We'll end the meeting and no.
notes are there, recording is there, so people can go and check. Mm -hmm. Right? Perfect. All right. Okay. Uh, hey, Bob. So, uh, actually, Francois, uh, Francois, did you want to say something about uh, giving feedback to Bob? Two seconds. Um, I will give feedback for sure. Um, Bob, I, I'm late with the, the, the several emails, but I want you to help. And, uh, I know you need feedback. So you can chat on me. So. Bonjour. Bonjour. All right. Let's introduce you to right now, so you know he's been silent for a while, right? Okay. Yes. He's a finance guy, so he's finance. So. Okay. Hi. Right. Okay. Hi. Tell me, this. I was stuck really upon one. That's okay. Me, you are just being streaming on YouTube. Okay. Good. All right, guys. Uh, so then, uh, I guess uh, see you next time. See you around, right? Who's, who's connected here? Who else is connected? That's me. Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit then uh, another time. Bye. Okay. See you, Bob.